color is Solomon? Black. What color is Adam? Black. What color is Job? Black. Y'all gotta keep it in your mind because it's written in the Bible. He said, and keep them things thereof. For the time is at hand. Because we in the last days. You gotta know. You gotta know the color of Christ. Why? This is why. We've been given a lot. Hold that up. We've been given a lot. For years and years, we've been told Christ is a white man. Is that nowhere in the Bible? You can't read that nowhere in the Bible. That's why he said, blessed you that read it. Because this is nowhere in the Bible. We were told that and we believed it. We never read it out the Bible that Christ looked like this. And I'm going to use one of one of y'all put your hand. Who want to come up here and help me right now? Somebody come up here and help me. Which one of y'all brave students going to come? John, you got the Bible. Come here. Come here, John. John got the spirit. John got the Bible open. You have come help me, John. I want you to help your, your, your fellow students. Now, we're going we're gonna to go through the Bible. You tell me which one is real and which one is fake. The real. book of Revelation, chapter and 1. This, and this is just a description of Christ. This ain't him. It's a description of him. Like you tell me right now, I said, how your grandfather look? You tell me he black, he got white hair, whatever. I'm going to write it down. I'm going to join. Like you tell me. This is a description. This ain't him per se, but it is a description of Jesus Christ according to what the Bible said. Read the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. Uh huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. He said his head and his hairs were white like wool. You read it, John, right? Which one got the wool in here, John? This one. This one? Yeah. He said, read that again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Read that part for him. When you say, my tiba, I'm going to do nothing. Number three, and he didn't mean a horse. We got to move me for that. And you know what? Wool, wool texture here. Who got woolly texture here? Somebody, point to somebody who got a woolly texture here in this class. Point to somebody who got a woolly texture here in this class. You got woolly texture? You, 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 you. All of y'all got woolly texture here. All of us got woolly texture here. I, I'm mouth falling out, y'all, but we all got woolly texture here. You understand? You got woolly texture. You, you, you. We all got woolly texture here. That's what the Bible said. His hair and his head were white like wool. We got woolly texture here. And his white turning like my hair. Like my hair turning white, Christ's hair was white already. Go ahead. And as white as snow. Uh huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were as a flame of fire. The white of his eyes was red. Why? Wow. You go to church? You go to church? You go? What was Christ's first miracle? Yes! He turned water into wine. So the white of his eyes was red because he drank wine. He wasn't an alcoholic, but he sipped wine. So he says, eyes were red with fire. Go ahead. And his feet. And his feet. If I look at the top of your feet, John, if I look at the top of your feet, is this the same color as your arm, your leg, your face? Yes, right? He said, and his feet. Like unto fine brass. Who knows the color of brass? Anybody know color brown? It's a golden brown complexion. A golden brown complexion. And like a trumpet. It's like the color of a trumpet. Brass is like the color of a trumpet. Go ahead. As if they burn. As what? As if they burn. As if. He's talking about the feet now. They look as if they burn. In a furnace. In a furnace. He looking at stuff like John legs are black, his arm is black, his face is black. That's how Christ looks. Because John the Roman ain't looking at his feet. So his feet the same color as his legs, his arm, and his face. He said, feet, if you burn rice, I know you know this one. If you burn rice, what color to turn? If you burn rice, what color to turn? Huh? You know? Somebody can help him? If you burn anything, what color to turn? Black. If you burn anything, you turn black. Christ and his feet. As if they burned in the furnace. His feet as if they burned in the furnace. So he got Willie here. He got the white his eyes is red. And his feet 
like fine brass if they burn in the furnace. So what color is Jesus Christ? Black. 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 And this is not him. This is just a description of him. But he's black. So this right here we learned was a lie. This was a lie. He said, "Ye should know the truth. Read that for him. Read the whole thing for him. He said, "Ye should know the truth and the truth should make you free. Read that again. Revelation 1 and 14. You have this seven time ago, a moon do nine. Nan three any new who has a got to new fita. Says to Trema. Nan any to say or Jaframa. Nan a night to say you are far. I don't want to know. That's why he said, Blessed you that read it, because nobody can take it away from you. Nobody can take that away from you. Christ is a black man like us. Solomon black, David black, Jeremiah black. Everybody in his Bible. These prophets, these leaders, was black people. That was us. That was us. They was Israelites. That was us. We are Israelites living here in Africa today. So you put that down. Go to Deuteronomy 28. Oh, let me ask you a question. Everybody say they go to church. Raise your hand again. What scriptures say that Christ was born December 25th? It's not in there. That's why you're all confused. It's not in there. It's not in the Bible. Give me that in uh, Luke 2. The book of Luke, chapter 2, and verse 42. Uh huh. And when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. Mm -hmm. And when they had fulfilled the days as they returned, the child Jesus tarried behind in Jerusalem. And jo Joseph and his mother knew not of it. So read that where you at. Look, look at some panel. A team, me and you, and you're not me. No, listen, 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 y'all. Because y'all said it was the birth of Jesus Christ. Oh, y'all believe that. But look what the Bible said. I said, now what did you have to say to me? You know, what I said here, I first know, I hope I'm on yet here. And you're not me, and so now what did you have to say to me? You know, what's on it up? What's on it up? I know about five years, no, I can't actually over Jerusalem. Now, so now for now for any, you got questions. I thought, I thought you had your hand up. I thought you had the scripture. No. Christ was not born on December 25th, y'all. We don't read about Christmas in the Bible, all right? Christ was born in around March or April. They never gave you the day, did they? Did they ever tell you the day? You was reading, John. Did they ever say what day? Did it say December 25th? No. They don't give you no day when he's born. They just tell you around the time of our feast, and that was around Passover. Around March or April. Around March or April, everyone. That's the time he was born. Not December 25th. That was a lie. Another lie that was taught to us. That lie he was December 25th. Go with this. Go with this here. It's no good. Yeah. Luke chapter 2, verse 41. Read. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of Passover. They, they, at the feast of Passover. Passover was between March and April. Right. Every year his parents went up there. Go ahead. And when he was 12 years old. He was around 12 years old. They tell you his age at the time. Go ahead. They went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. But they never tell you the date. They never tell you the date he was born. He said when he was around 12 years old. Christ is born around March, April, not December 25th. Right. So, give me, uh, read that, uh, read that, 41. 41. Luke chapter two, 2, 2 verse 41. Uh huh. Now, now, for I go to Jerusalem, then this year, come up a chassis. Verse 42. Verse 42. Now, what did you have to say to me? What can I say? I'm not going to say anything. All right. So, let's go to Jeremiah 10 and 1. The book of Jeremiah. Chapter 10 in verse 1. So we're going to read about Christmas. I'm going to tell you ahead of time. Chris, and y'all explain to me, do we supposed to do it or not do it? Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Uh-huh. God talking to the house of Israel. He talking to us. Go ahead. Thus says the Lord God. Uh-huh. Learn not the way of the heathen. He said, learn not the way of the other nations. Go ahead. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Don't be confused at the signs of heaven. Go ahead. For the heathens are dismayed at them. Go ahead. For the customs of the people are vain. So he said the custom of the people are worthless. The word vain, if you look it up in the dictionary, it means worthless. It's nothing. 
The custom of the people is vain. Go ahead. For one, cut a tree out of the forest. So he said, one, cut a tree down out of the forest. The work of the head of the heads of the workmen. Read. Jeremiah chapter ten, verse one. Oh, Israel, fear, mutia asimi ya radi ekachemo. Se radi sienye, musia amanamano akwai. Na musro asro sanchane. Na amanamai na esro on. Verse three. Na amano atro mutia e atro. Na e dia wakano efu kwayo. So what day somebody go cut a tree down? What holiday somebody go cut a tree down out of the forest with an axe? None of y'all know? You know. What day somebody go to the forest and cut down a tree? Go ahead and read verse 4. They deck it with silver and with gold. What holiday? What holiday do people go, cut a tree down, put it in their house, and deck it with silver and gold? You don't know? Y'all have a tree in your house on Christmas? But there's no thing with the holiday. Huh? Yeah, they do. They say they all do. All of them do Christmas. The tree, but the tree, the tree they usually they cut a tree down, they put it in their house, they deck it with silver and gold. Yeah. That's where we get that from. Yeah. Read. They deck it with silver and with gold. So they put silver and gold and stringy things all over the tree. Go ahead. They fasten it with nails. They hammer it down with nails. They fasten it and hammer it down with nails. And with hammers that it move not. That it don't move. Read. They are upright as the palm tree. So they used to use palm trees, but now they use pine trees. They dig it, uh, they dug it with silver and gold. But God said we're not supposed to celebrate that. Read verse two again. Verse two. Thus says the Lord, learn not the way of you the said what? Learn not the way of the other nations. Learn not the way we ain't supposed to follow what they do. We got high holy days like Passover. Like Day of Atonement, like uh, Pentecost, like Tabernacle, Feast of Dedication. We're not supposed to celebrate Christmas because Christmas is not our custom. Read that again. Thus says the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. He said, don't learn their ways. Don't do what they do. So he said, don't learn the ways of the heathen. Go ahead. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Don't be confused because they doing it. Now you want to do it, but you don't understand what it's about. Christ was not, not born on December 25th. Right. Have nothing to do with us. Christmas have nothing to do with us. We celebrate and say we're having a good time, but it have nothing to do with us. You understand? That's not the custom of the Israelites, John. That's why he told us don't follow their ways. Don't do what they do. Read, read, read the whole so that's why he tell us, don't follow the ways of the heathen. Don't do what they do. We ain't supposed to celebrate Christmas. We greater people than that. Where Christmas come from? A lie. Christmas come from a lie. You know who this is? Huh? This guy is the devil that the Bible speak of. His name is Cedro Borgia. You can look it up yourself. His name is Cedro Borgia. Pope Alexander of Rome. Pope Alexander VI of Rome, this is his son. He had incest. He had sex with his sister. He was a homosexual. He uh, he was a murderer. This guy had nothing to do with the Bible and had nothing to do with Christ. He is the devil the Bible talk about. You know what the word devil? Anybody know what the word devil means? You? Nobody know what the word devil means? Come on. Huh? No, no, no. no, it means deceiver. I mean deceiver. The word devil means deceiver. He deceived the whole world saying he this color. We went over it. What color is Christ? What color is Christ? What color is Solomon? What color was Adam? What color was Job? That's why this is a lie. That's why he deceiver because he lied. He lied to us. We are the greatest people on this planet Earth. That's right. 
right. We are the greatest people on this planet Earth. God made us special people. Our Messiah looked like what? Don't ever forget this, y'all. He said what? He said, blessed is he that read him. When you read it, who we seen, John? Him? We seen who? As what color? Black. As black. We read it. All of y'all read it. We all read it. So you got to come back and remember who you are. You understand? You got to remember who you are according to the Bible. We are the Israelites. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.